Assalamu alaikum viewers. Viewers, today my topic is present continuous tense. It, it is also called present progressive. What is present progressive tense? Look at here and try to understand along with same the tense line. This is the line which shows our tense. If you are present here in the form of now, so it means you are in present tense. If you are, we are talking about before now, so it means we are talking about past. When we are talking about after now, when we are talking about after now, it means we are in future. But after now, what is the positions of after now? After now, we have also two positions. We have also two positions in after now. So look at here, one, uh, the action, when the time will approach, action will complete. But in here, I have written in a bold and then the dotted. Okay, the dotted form, it means it shows the continuity of the tense. So it shows the continuity. It's, it means the tense when the time will approach. When the time will approach, the tense means action will be progressed or in, progr in uh, progress. Action will be in progress. Okay, getting. So that is called future continuous tense. Or future progressive. It means now after now future future time when time will approach, action will be going on. action progressive Now come to here. When do we use present future continuous tense? When do we use future continuous tense? Look at here one by one. Number one, look at here use of future continuous tense. Number one, for interrupted action in the future. First use, interrupted action in the future. How? Look at here the example. When you get home, when you get home, I will be watching this movie. I will be watching this movie. It means right now he is not watching movie. Neither he was much watching movie. When he will be watching movie? When you get home. Jab tum ghar mein aoge, I will be watching this movie. It means you are not at home. Okay. And neither I am watching movie. I will be watching movie. It means the action interrupted action. Where there is the action interrupted here. When you get home, when you get home, okay, I will be watching movie. So here we can use interrupted action. Number one, do you understand interrupted action? Now, number two, for a specific time is an interruption in the future. A specific time, it means some specific time would be given. Suppose how 9 o'clock at 9 o'clock it is a specific time not only morning at 9 o'clock suppose We can say at 9 a.m. We can also say so it is called a specific time and interruption in the future how we will be having breakfast tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock when the 9 o'clock time will approach when the clock will strike 9 uh, my action will be going on. What my action? My action will be having breakfast. So having breakfast is my action. So it will be going on. Neither it is going on right now or not, neither it was going on. It will be going on. Get it? Next. For the actions already happening now and expected to continue some time in the future the yes, same time some time in the future yes, same time in the future okay he will still be dealing he will still be dealing with this task in an hour okay in an hour means within an hour in an hour a gente me wo dealing kar raha hoga so we hum kar raha we will be we will still be dealing still be dealing is already happening it means action will be happening now and expected to continue or expected expected to continue over dealing ho rahi hogi to isme kar rahe aur ho rahi hogi so this task in in an hour ek ghante mein is 
की डीलिंग हो रही होगी यू वेट द डीलिंग विल बी गोइंग ऑन इन एन आर गेट इट ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री यूजेज हियर एंड यूजेज नंबर फोर वेन डू वी यूज मीन्स फ्यूचर कंजेस्टेंस to ask questions politely about the future sometimes we also use this type of uh, means questions with future continuous tense or future progressive suppose will you be leaving karachi tonight will you be leaving karachi tonight it means are you going to leave karachi tonight if you have already definitely decided so you use are you going to are you going to okay definitely decided but here not definitely decided so you will use will will be leaving will you be leaving karachi tonight it means questions politely about the future getting usage number 4 now usage number 5 while expressing the intentions of the future while expressing the intentions of the future ex future intentions but when the time will come I will be helping my mother during the weekend. I will be helping. Now I am not helping. I have intention. I will be when the action will come. My uh, sorry, time will come. My action will be going on. Do you get my idea? Now number last. For parallel action or a series of parallel actions. Parallel actions. means the action one action is going going on second action is along with and parallel of this doing okay that's one sometimes to describe the atmosphere okay sometimes ye istemal kiya jata hai describe the atmosphere baad mein atmosphere to show karne ke liye bhi isko lagaya jata hai for example this time next week now we have mentioned the parallel mean time and the parallel action what they will be dancing chatting and having these are parallel or continue action to describe atmosphere what is atmosphere there is a fun party enjoyment okay so we can use this time next week next week that means the next week will not did not come right now it will come approach when time will approach the action will be going on so this time next week they will be dancing chatting and having fun okay do you get it i think so you have understood the usage there are the six different usage of the future continuous tense getting it now come to here what is the structures or the formula of this tense look at here do you get it the structures and formula i will mention you first of all we'll put here the subject subject or a doer of an action then we will use will okay or we will use shall along with will or shall we use we use be okay plus we use i can say here bracket bracket means multiply shall be or will be plus then we use here present participle do you know present participle do you know present participle what is present participle present participle means verb plus ing form it means first form of the verb plus ing okay that is called present participle then we use here any object or what we required whether is object or then full stop this is the structure to make present continuous tense getting it i think so you have got this future continuous tense but if we come to know in urdu so look at here the sum means identification in urdu it is called in urdu raha hoga raha होगा जुमले के आखिर में ऐसे वर्ड आएंगे या रही होगी या फिर रहे होंगे ऐसे वर्ड आएंगे या फिर हम कह सकते हैं रहा होगा रहा होगा ठीक है रहा होगा रही होगी रहे होंगे रहा होगा ये उर्दू जुमले के आखिर में ऐसे वर्ड्स आते हैं So 
इस तरह हम इसे बना सकते हैं एक सेंटेंस जो जो सब बोल एग्जाम्पल देकर मैं यह समझा देता हूं एग्जाम्पल सपोज नंबर वन वो कल इस वक्त वो कल इस वक्त कुरान पाक की तिलावत कर रहा होगा अब देखिए कल अभी वो वक्त आया नहीं ठीक देखिए जब का एक्शन आएगा जब टाइम आएगा कल इस वक्त तो फिर हम इस वो एक्शन जो होगा वो कंटिन्यू होगा तो ये फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस रह जाएगा ठीक है वो कल इस वक्त कुरान पाक की तलावत कर रहा ट्रांसलेशन कैसे होगी ही सब्जेक्ट आगे विल देखिए ही विल बी बी लगाएंगे हम इसमें फ्यूचर में विल बी ही विल बी रिसाइटिंग आर ई सी आई टी आई एन जी रिसाइटिंग कुरान पाक की तलावत को कहा जाता है ही विल बी रिसाइटिंग दी होली कुरान दी एच ओ एल वाई होली होली को कैपिटल लिखें दी होली कुरान क्यू यू क्यू यू क्यू आर ए एन कुरान दी होली कुरान ही विल बी रिसाइटिंग दी होली कुरान कब कल इस वक्त आप कह सकते हैं कि बाय दिस टाइम टूमोरो ओके कल इस वक्त तक नहीं कल इस वक्त एट दिस टाइम टूमोरो एट दिस टाइम आपको तो इसे हम कहते हैं फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस फ्यूचर कंसिस्टेंस का फॉर्मूला यूजेज और टाइमलाइन से मैंने समझाने की भरपूर कोशिश की है उम्मीद है कि आपको समझ आया होगा इन फर्दर लेक्चर के लिए वेट कीजिए ओके सब्सक्राइब कीजिए चैनल को ताकि आपके पास वीडियोस फौरी तौर पर आपके पास आए बेल आइकन दबा दीजिए थैंक यू सो मच शाद रहिए आबाद रहिए अल्लाह हाफिज फिर